the warm up. Uh, if people have done TCOM from another system, we're, we're not far from one another. There's a lot of parts of China and Qigong gets different flavor depending on where the source is. We'll start with a warm up. We've been sedentary a lot. We want to get the joints moving, the blood flowing. And we're going to work today, now switch direction. We're going to work today on the immune system at first, and then something special for Passover. The wrists are getting warmed up. Now the elbows come in. And go the other way. And with the shoulder, we're going to twist the whole body as we swing our arm. So we actually feel it all the way down to your ankle. Big, wide movements to really get moving. And go back the other way. The whole body twists as the arm swings. The other arm. Back the other way. Hips also nice wide circle. If we've been sitting in the house a lot, we can hurt ourselves during the exercise, and also this is part of the exercise. Go back the other way. Legs together for the knees. Back the other way. Ankle, all weight on one leg and twist the other at the ankle. Go back the other way. Switch leg. Back the other way. And then with the neck, either a round circle or your head goes back and forth. Go back and forth sideways or turn your head in the other direction. Just in your neck. Then swinging our arms 
We're going to keep them down low. And with the fist, hit yourself different places. You're bringing out the chi from the center out to the surface. Stimulating different parts of the body. Maybe right at the beginning of the arm is the beginning of the heart. But later today, we're going to work on the, the heart. Don't forget your back, different places. And then just twisting. Now as we breathe in with a nice breath, hands down on the lower dantian, just below the navel. So if you have your thumb on your navel, bring your hands down, you're right in the right spot. We're going to warm this up. The lower dantian is the whole part of the body inside the big sphere. A lot of chi that we'll be working with. The center and central reservoir of the chi. I heard someone come in a second ago and can't see who it was, but welcome. And we have you on mute until the end. Now we're going to work first on the between heaven and earth. We're creating a sphere around us, above us, and balancing ourselves. The first is to breathe in. We capture the energy in our hands. As we breathe out, mirror me so you'll look to your right. Look to your left. Breathe in as you bring it to the center. Breathe out. Now look to your left. Then your right. Breathing in. You're putting yourself in the center of a balloon and you're pushing out the sides of the balloon, creating a field force around you about the space of where your hands are. And you're smoothing out as if there's this balloon around you. And sometimes there's a jagged edge, or you might be off center. So we're trying to put ourselves in the center and smooth the edges of the sphere that we're in. As we breathe out, we're pushing out the side. Breathing in, it folds in on us, making it more and more flexible as it moves. Push out. Look to your left and to your right and breathe in. Now we're going to do below us and above us. So we take our sphere and have it in front of us with one hand on top. It doesn't matter, but you'll keep it there. Breathe out. Push the lower hand down. Look at the top hand. Breathe in. As it comes down, the energy ball collapses. Keep the same hand on top and repeat. Breathing out, look down, look up, breathe in. Same hand on top, look down, look up, breathe in. Now we'll switch which hand is on top. We breathe out, look down. Breathe in as it collapses on us. Just like we were doing to the side, we're doing it expanding below us, expanding above us. Down, making it more and more flexible and further away from our body. 
Mm -hmm. Now move the ball so our fingers are straight up. And we're going to go three times to your right side and always looking behind first. And breathe out. Breathe in, come forward. Repeat to the same side. Breathe out, look behind you. Look in front. Breathe in and then come front and center. Breathe out, same side. Breathe in, front and center. Now we'll do the other side. And we're balancing what's in front of us and behind us. As I push away and I look behind. Breathe in. Come front and center. Return to the same side. You breathe in and I feel this. I feel what I'm pushing. It's not just air. I really want to concentrate on something being pushed against my hand, this chi force around me. And I come back and center. And I feel myself nice and centered. And it, the sphere is smooth around me, in front of me, above, below, and I'm nice and centered within it. Now I want to work on balancing my yin and yang. So I, if I am going to use the center around the center core of the body, the microcosmic meridian, as I breathe in, I feel a splotch of energy coming up and over the top. And I breathe out. It comes down the front. I saw and noticed I might have had a little choppiness. Uh, apologize for my bandwidth. Breathe in as it comes up the back side. Breathe out as you bring it down close to your front. Balancing the yin and yang. We do one more. It comes up between your legs. What is up? Comes up to the level of your hand. And one swoosh up above your head. Breathe out. Comes down the front. Now we want to balance it. So we'll do it in reverse. As I breathe in, I bring it up through the front. Push my hands away from me and palms up and then breathe out. I feel it coming right down my backside. Breathe in. Breathe out. Through my legs and up the front, as they breathe in. And breathe out. And big, wide splotch down my backside. I relax. And I want to work on what's called the belt meridian. It's a, like a sash around my whole inside. I want to concentrate on the connection of the direction of breathing and the direction of, of uh, spinning. Point the hands towards the body and I'm going to spin to your right, mirroring me. Breathe out. I'll go back the other way. Breathe in. Breathe 
breathe out. Sorry for the sloppiness. It's a, it's a belt of life sash around me. Breathe in. Now breathe in in this position. And breathe out going back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. I apologize for that. Now we're going to work with the macrocosmic orbit. I'm bringing energy from up here to heaven as I breathe in, comes down my front, all the way to the earth. If you can't go lower, just stop here or go all the way down. The energy went into the earth, now it comes up and up to your backside. Then breathe out. Breathe in through the front side. Breathe out up the back side. Breathe in, go as low as you can. You don't have to go all the way down. Breathe out up the back. Now we'll switch. Breathing in, feeling a splash down the back, and all the way down. If you can only go this far, mentally have it go all the way down. And breathing out, mentally start at the earth, I'm up the front, and then go all the way up. Breathing in, down the back, Out up front. Breathing in. Breathing out. Then we relax. Now when we are working on the the belt meridian and it was like a hula hoop. An energy like a top, if it's spinning, it won't tip over. And so we created our strength of being able to withstand and have energy hit us and be deflected away if it was negative energy. Now we want to create ourselves into a human gyroscope. We take one hand and not a heavy, just a little skin, pulling up, pulling up energy out of the earth and having it come and fill up the lower 
for Dante N. No real connection of breathing to the spinning. Just breathe slowly. Switch feet. And you're bringing up new chi out of the earth, mixing with the prior chi that you had sucked in. Now with just a little shake of the center, we're mixing up the two sources of energy in the lower dant hand. Now we want to bring down from the heavens. From heaven's chi comes down like a tube through the center of the arm, the bone marrow, and mixes with the lower, in the lower dantian. I'm feeling it come right down into my bone. Heaven chi mixing with earth chi. And I'll switch hands, bring it down to the other side, and then all this heaven, light, spiritual, as well as intuit, intuition, knowledge, it comes down in and mixes with the earth chi that I have collected. Elements of creation, and I'm mixing the two together. Now, I'm just going to bobble my head just slightly to the acupuncture point right on the tip of my head, and it's coming right through there. Now, I want to work with my breathing, and I want energy with an inflow through my, through my nose, come up out of the earth, and the outflow, I want to push it up the rest of the body, out of my hands, up into heaven. So I breathe in, I bring it into the earth. Breathe out, it goes through my hands, up to heaven. Double barrel, up to both feet. They breathe in. And breathe out through both hands. I feel it as it moves through the body. Breathe in, through my feet. Up to my lower dantian, breathe out. This lower dantian goes up through my arms, out my hands. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Now I want to reverse it. As I breathe in, I want it to come in through my hand. And as I breathe out, it leaves out through my feet. So I'm breathing in and breathing out through my feet. As 
they breathe in, I collect it through my hands down into the lower dantian, breathing out, then out, down through the legs and out of the feet. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in through my hands. Follow it through the body and breathing out through my feet. We need to rest. Let's just make one loop of our arms so we don't get tired. Maybe a second time. I will come back up into our stance. And this time, breathing in and out. No connection to the energy flow. Breathe in and out naturally, but at the same time, energy is coming in through your hands and out through your feet. At the same time, coming in through your feet and out through your hands. And no connection to breathing. Just mentally close your eyes and picture all this energy flowing in both directions. Didn't stop. <laughs> so now we'll just take one more scoop to massage and change the, the muscles, get them relaxed again, and lower your hands onto your lower dantian. Now we've created a whole energy force field around us. We created that we're in the center. It's equal distance on all our sides. And this is our immune system protection. So in terms of health and factors of the environment, we're protected. Now we want to do a little twist and go to the heart and the fire element. It's an effort to connect this exercise to Passover. So Passover is, as you know, get rid of the hummus and only have matzah. But it's hummus, it's puffiness, it's raised bread, and matzah is, is this thin very delicate, nothing extra in it. And we'll work on why is that connected to fire and heart as we do the exercise. So first we want to breathe through the lower dantian, just breathing in and out of the, the lower dantian drops, the stomach goes out, breathing through your nose, Breathe out, the stomach comes in. Breathe in. Breathe out. All in the lower left hand stomach. Coming in and out. We want to add to that, bringing more energy into the upper chamber as well. The breathing in at the lower, and then a second gulp 
Breathing in in the chest. Breathe out of the chest. And breathe out of the lower diaphragm by bringing the stomach in. And breathe in first the stomach. And the upper chest. And out of the upper chest. And out of the stomach. In. And second go in. Even out. And emptying it by pushing the stomach in. Now we want to bring both of them, expand them at the same time. Bringing in the lower and upper at the same time. And exit both at the same time. Whole chest and stomach expands. Both contract to exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. I want to relax. I want to start vibrating the heart. Well, how is that done? It's with the sound of awe. Ah. A low pitch awe ah, and feel the heart vibrate in the mantra. It's saying ah. Breathe in everything. And when you say the uh, feel the heart vibrate. Uh, uh, breathe in through the nose, out through the heart. Uh, One more time, breathing in. Now, the fire, the fire of the heart element heart or the, the the body is the heart element is fire i want to feed it by bringing up through the back and breathing in like i did before this is called the water path it's filling into the fire side of the body where the heart is I just stimulated the heart. I want to fill it. Bringing it up. Bring it out. Bring it down. One more time. Bringing it up. And back. The water comes over the top in order to fill the front. To balance this, I'm going to use the fire path. If they bring up, up and over the top, and down the back. And then bring it in.
Now we want to massage my heart. We'll do the five waves at the end, but one of the five waves is to open my arms up wide, like span my chest, and breathing out, I collapse without touching, I wrap my body. Breathe in, expand, and push out my heart. Breathe out, really massaging that heart. The fire is getting hotter and hotter. Breathe out. How is matzah made? The dough is thrown into the fire. Very high heat to make it crisp, dry out all the extra. So we also want to work on the heart of what does it mean? Put our fingers together and let's we breathe in, open the heart up again. Close it, breathe out, as we push out that flame, breathe in, breathe out in the front, then in as I expand the heart, breathe out again, breathe in. Breathe out, and then breathe in. This is the puffiness of the dough of bread and the collapse and sending out all the chumets. And then breathe in. I find my natural position. And I want to first breathe out the puffiness the arrogance. When I'm arrogant, how do I walk? I walk like this. I'm more important than everybody else. That's my comment. I want to get rid of that. Collapse it and send it away. And then I find my natural position. Compassion and love and, and the fire is under control. Fire is good, but if it's out of control, I've done damage. And breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in the compassion and empathy for others. Now I want to continue and building up that fire. This is one of the animals is the dragon. And an exercise of warm up for the dragon is to create a figure eight. What's in the middle of that figure eight? It's my heart. I can feel it getting hotter and hotter. Which hand? Figure eight. Which hand back and forth. The fire of the dragon is what we have to control. We use it for cooking, for eating. Make it so that it's overheated. We have disruption. Now we're going to do it with both hands. You feel we're getting hotter.
This is just a warm up of the dragon. We haven't done animals, but it's a very good exercise for the heart. Now, in terms of all of the five animals, each has its own position. So if I'm in a stance, a little bit wide position of our hands, we're going to do a lunge. So back foot, the foot is twisted out a little, and the back foot connected to that hand. I push it forward, palm down in a fist and down. My opposite hand is palm up on my side. And I just want to stand here for a moment. And I'm breathing in, bringing up the energy right out of the earth. I'm hot. The heat, the blood is boiling. The heart then pumps out like the dragon, sending that flame of his mouth. And I'm standing there, I want to feel the flow come all the way up, the blood, the heat of the heart, and the motion and movement of chi going right up through the body. I heated myself up with all the other exercises. You can get low if you want, or you can stay high. It's okay, wherever you feel comfortable. And we just stay here for a while. Concentrate on the motion of the energy flowing up through the foot, up through the core of the body, through the heart being pumped out through the hand. I'm going to come back to center. I'm going to do it on the other side. Lunging, having my feet be with a little spread so I don't, don't have it in an edge. I'll be tipsy. And the back foot angled out. Back foot back, similar hand forward, palm down in the fist, the other hand palm up. Same flow of energy. Back to center again. And we want to balance all this out with the five waves. And this, by the way, we only have a short amount of time. This is the five waves for every morning to do it for five minutes. It's the sub segment exercise. So I breathe in. I'm feeling the energy, just my hands come up to shoulders. Breathe out, go down. This is the earth, solid, even. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. I'm calming down through all of this. I just got very hot. Heart exercise. Breathing in, breathing out. My heart open up, collapse without touching, wrapping 
feeling a cocoon wrap around you. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. up, waving at the clouds, the wood element, like a bamboo, tall and strong, waving in the wind, again, calming my breathing down as it got heavy from the other exercise. In the rain, come back so you can see my hands. Rain comes down. Breathing in as I bring it, bring in the wet as it falls down. Oh. All right, the recording I think ended. We went. Oh, I need this second. Breathe in. Breathe down. Breathe in. My hands go towards my face, just at my face, shoulder level. Now the metal. I bring my palms facing down, they come up in front of me, and they come up, shoulder, and then push away. Breathe in. Breathe out. together as they breathe in the, the expansion of the chi and the body just brings my arms up as they breathe out it collapses and breathe in I'm not raising my hand by myself the energy pushes it up breathe out it deflates and collapsing. And then the pericardium is all five elements, but emphasizing water and fire, but involving all the elements. And then Wrap it up again with my macrocosmic orbit. Come down. One more around. And I put my hands on my lower dantian. And feel this rub the whole area. Feel how hot it is. 
the activity of chi in the body. This is the big reservoir. Come around the back and we're going to tap all the sides. As they come around the front, the front of the arms, the back, across the front, changing. Normally we hit our face. This time don't. Just come like you're hitting your because this time and age we don't want to touch our face. Then patting our back again around the back. We're bringing the chi out to the surface. Again, emphasizing this protection shield. And like we're tapping our face and massage our back. Now this time we're going to smooth the back from all the way down up the inside, the front of the arms, the back of the arm, front of the arm. Back. Again, without touching our face, but we feel the face, the head. Come around the back, massage our shoulders, massage our back. Now just take a cut and very slowly follow that same pattern without touching. Seeing if you can feel the chi force like an inch or two away from your body. Very slow. The inside of the legs. It's a single direction. Energy goes down the inside of the arm and back up the outside. And then down the inside, back up, see if you can feel tingling, magnetism, warmth. Now here, feel delicately the chi between your hands and your face, the whole head, like there's an energy ball and your head is in the middle of it. Come around the back to the front and then just hold the lower dantian, breathing in and out, feeling how strong that energy is inside the body. 